Hey everybody, Fresco Quinos here. So no matter what kind of communication you're gonna do, whether you're talking to someone, you're doing a video, you're printing an ad, uh, you're presenting a logo with PowerPoint, there's some type of communication theory going on here. So let's take a look at that theory. I think it works for any type of communication, any type of presentation, whether it's mass communication, one-on-one -on -one communication, let's take a look. So the first thing we're gonna have is the originator of the message. It might be a marketer in this case. We call them generally the sender. And that sender is gonna obviously have a message for their target audience. And that target audience we're gonna call the receiver. Sorry, I'm obscuring that a little bit, but it says receiver. Now, here comes the complicated part, right? Because now we've gotta come up with a message and we've got to pick a medium for that message to ride on. So should that medium be audio, video, uh, print, um, a hand wave, gesturing, smiling, there's all types of ways to kind of encode that message. So we're using the English language here. If I was to continue this little lecture in another language, it may be harder for you to decode it. So the idea is that if we all speak English, the sender speaks English, the receiver speaks English, then we have a shared experience and that allows the coding to go through. So we wanna make sure that you know, stuff doesn't get lost in translation. I always give the, uh, the, the Chevy Nova as a, a great example of lost in translation where the sender thinks Nova is going to be a great car to sell, but when they try to sell it in Latin America and everybody who speaks Spanish, Nova means doesn't go, they don't want to buy that car. So you have to do your homework. You have to do your research. You have to know your target audience. You have to know what that shared experience is and how you're going to cross over your message uh, with that shared experience. What is the best medium to use? then as a producer, what you want to do is make sure you discount as much as possible the noise. So think about the noise to a message like this. Maybe, for instance, there's something in front of the camera. Okay, that's going to definitely be some noise for my image. Or I start talking really low. So now you can't hear me. More noise, right? So the idea is that there's all types of physical noise that as a producer you can ensure, you know, uh, discount as much. There's also semantic noise like the Nova where you know the words we're using just don't fit. Uh, so doing your homework and research and cultural differences things like that is important to eliminate that noise as much as possible. It might be things that you guys said before there's too much text on the slide and it's too noisy too busy or maybe that text is too small and I can't read it or the color of the font is the same color as the background and I can't read it. Okay, so think about how you're going to maximize your communication message and eliminate the noise by using the proper media in the proper way. Um, the other thing is a feedback loop. So here's where the receiver can send back information to the sender. Maybe it's a marketing thing and uh, all of a sudden sales go through the roof. So that would be called positive feedback. Other things might be negative feedback. I put up a new website and nobody visited it. So, you know, we got to think about why we're getting negative feedback, how to maximize the positive feedback, and minimize the negative feedback. Sometimes that feedback can be delayed, right? Depending on how long it takes for the message to travel. In the old days, you know, the mail, <laughs> snail mail had to go and people, you know, read the snail mail and then they responded or uh, they wrote something, you know, uh, about something they saw on TV and they sent it as a letter. Today, of course, with social media and the internet, um, you can respond to things immediately. So that feedback loop is much, much quicker. Sometimes that can be a, a boon or it can also be dangerous. So uh, I want you to think about all these components the next time you're composing your presentation or you're thinking about a communication and how that message is going to be as clear as possible. Or in a mass communication thing, think about how the sender is sending the message out to a mass audience uh, as opposed to just talking one-on-one. -on -one. 
uh, encoding that message, you know, in a Instagram or in a video on YouTube, and then you know sending it out for the world to view.